Welcome to the world of Mad Max. It's a wreck of a world torn apart by nuclear war, where scavenging is the key to survival. And there's always someone on your tail. And in this world, gasoline rules. Without it, you're nothing but a dead man walking. So join Max as he skillfully maneuvers through the post-apocalyptic wreckage. Be it human or machine. And Max has a history. He was a pursuit cop in the dying embers of the old world, patrolling the increasingly lawless roads and highways that were now ruled by biker gangs. And it was to them that he would lose his wife and child in a merciless revenge attack, leaving him a broken man, a shadow of himself who would leave the dying city behind to wander the Australian wilderness. In this desert wasteland, Max would scavenge survival, with gasoline being as high on his list as food and water constantly having to watch his own back against whichever gang claimed ownership of that territory. But he would also discover an echo of civilization in this desert. A working oil refinery where good people dream of escaping to a safer place with their precious oil. The compound is constantly besieged by a gang who need that oil too. And through them there can be no escape. Max returns the lone survivor back to the refinery on the promise that he'll be rewarded with all the gasoline his car can carry. But the workers view him with suspicion and chain him while they decide his fate. Then Max finds himself trapped with them when the gang returns to surround the compound. The gang's leader gives the workers a choice, leave or die. He offers them safe passage if they choose to vacate their compound, leaving their equipment and the oil behind. His offer creates a rift in the camp between those who trust his proposal and those who don't. Max makes an offer of his own, based on his knowledge of a vehicle in the area that could haul their oil-filled tanker. And what follows is a contract given and a contract honored, but not without its dangers. The leader of the workers is grateful but also angry with Max for his refusal to join them on their journey to a better life. He accuses him of cowardice for failing to accept the loss of his family and move on. But unfortunate events force Max to return to the compound after attempting to escape back into the wilderness, making it impossible for him to continue alone. With Max in control of the tanker, he and his new clan are set to make their desperate escape and ranged against them is a ferocious gauntlet of gang warriors in one of the greatest action climaxes of all time. Mad Max 2 is easily my favorite action film. But don't let that give you the impression that I'm a dedicated action fan. I'm not. And nor was Barry Norman back in the early 80s, the BBC's chief film critic at the time. He was often snobbish about what he'd describe as pulp action and science fiction films. So imagine my surprise when it came to choosing his film of the year. And instead of choosing the usual French navel-gazing drama nobody ever heard of, he chose Mad Max 2 instead. My curiosity bitten, I decided that this was a film I needed to see. So I did, while the film was still on release, doing the rounds on a double bill with the original Mad Max film from 1979. I saw the sequel first, and it impressed me so much that I decided to hang around to watch it again. But between me and that second helping was the original Mad Max, which simply can't hold a candle to its successor. When viewed together, the sequel is superior on every single level. And what impressed me most wasn't the rolling cars, or the flying bikes, or the gyrocopter attacks. But something far more subtle. Something we see too little of in action movies. Because Max was imbued with a superpower that few other action heroes have. And that's the courage to express fear and trepidation in the face of overwhelming odds. And that made him just like you and me. And so very easy to root for.
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. There's plenty more to come from my DVD collection, which includes thrillers, comedies, action, science fiction, drama, adventure, and horror. Thanks for watching.